Hi guys, I'm here at Dollar Tree and I'm going to purchase something nobody would ever expect me to purchase. I'm looking for the cheapest garbage pencils that I could possibly find and while you can probably find good stuff at Dollar Tree and sometimes I do, pencils, mm -mm. so let's see how I do. Okay, there's no Crayola, but I did find Liquimark which I've never purchased before or used. It's kind of a Crayola knockoff. And here are some neons. I'll get some neons by Jot. I've never heard of Jot either. Any other brands? These are regular pencils. I think that's about it when it comes to the colored pencils. Okay, so I'm home with my pencils. Uh, it was $2 divided by 18 pencils, so I roughly paid 11.1 cents a pencil. I don't think I can get any cheaper. I've never used or colored with these brands. I'm going to sharpen them up. Oh, these are pre-sharpened. I didn't think they would be. I'm going to try them now. Very scratchy. I can tell you that. <laughs> you can hear the difference. Get them all out. Okay, that, you could tell this is a cheap pencil. It's not laying down at all. What color is this? Black. Oh my God, it looks like it's dark purple. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Second layer. Third layer. Fourth layer. Fifth layer. <laughs> it's as bad as the first. Why does it surprise me? There is no gray in this pack. And get my green. This should be a darker green. Okay, now let's see how the neons do. Now this is the Liquitech Liquimark. And here's Jot. I've never even heard of Jot pencils. I think I hear my Prismacolors crying. No, get them out of here. Okay, they are sharpened. Barely any pigment in these. Okay, these the Jot brand is not as bad as the other one. Okay, so we're going to do a little experiment and then I'm going to blow your mind. So, here are the pencils that I bought plus their um, Prismacolor comp. I've picked out six. Okay, so these are the cheapy pencils. I'm going to put these away. And these are the ones that I'm going to use. So I'm going to label my paper. And we got the one with spirit. So our paper is marked. Okay. Now our Prismacolors that I chose closely match the cheap pencil color. Let me start with the red. And I'm going to color in the red. This is Carmine Red. I thought it might have been a little poppy red, but Carmine is pretty close too. Poppy red has a tiny bit more orange in it. Okay, that's one layer of the red. And here's the cheap pencil. I'm using a medium touch. Let's see, there's a big difference in saturation. Big. And the neon orange from the cheap pencils. Pretty close in color, definitely not in saturation. And the last one is black. Sort of even color comparison between the two. In putting it down, there definitely was a different feel. Now, these were really inexpensive. 
going to get out a tiny bit of mineral spirit. I'm going to take each one of the pencils and I'm going to do the horrible. I'm going to dip it for a few seconds in the mineral spirit. Now I'm going to recolor with the same pressure. That's one layer. I'm going to redip and I'm going to put a second coat on it. I'm going to dip it a third time and I'm going to do one layer of the red. Okay, then I'm going to take the analogous color, which is the one sitting next to it, which would be the orange. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing in the same way to all of these. We're going to take a look now. We are using the cheapest possible pencil on the market. Am I saying is it as creamy as Prismacolor? Absolutely not. We're looking at color saturation. Look at the two. Look at the two. Again. Again. Again with the blue. That's pretty wild. The only thing I did, take the teeniest drop of mineral spirit. It's cheap pencils. We can dip. Dip for a couple of seconds, just the point, and go to town. Now, why on earth did I do this experiment? Well, I get a lot of people that write to me behind the scenes. They can't afford Prismacolors. They have a cheaper blending set, and they, they know the difference. I have a pencil set here. They're called Sudi Styles. They're an inexpensive set. 150 pencils cost $31. Only $31 or like 31 and change. These pencils are comparable to all the other lesser expensive sets. I took these pencils and I've been coloring with them for three months. I've owned these pencils for a couple of years, but I've been coloring with them for a couple of months, dipping them in the Gamsol or Mineral Spirits. They're both pretty much the same. I think it's Gamsol may just be a brand name of mineral spirit. I use uh, I use Home Depot brand odorless mineral spirits. I get no odor in my book. I don't use them with my prismas. I don't feel I need to. But if I want to get a in-between color and I need to look to my other sets of pencils for that in-between color... There are times that I will pick out a Sudi color because they're they're a little bit different. Let me take one of these out. Now, I don't have the name on them because this is the old. They do have names on them now. This is an old set that doesn't have the names. And here's not a great match, but I've been dipping it in. the mineral spirit. I get a lot of control. And my color saturation is excellent. My blendability is excellent. I 
I'm using a medium to light touch to blend. Create that other color. And you can look at it. Now this is the cheapest pencil on the market. This is, I would say, cheap medium. Look how nice this coverage is, how smooth it is. This is pure pr Prisma, which is considered a good pencil. This is an artist grade pencil. I can even go over the Prisma color and it will blend really nicely. Now, why don't I use mineral spirits all the time? Well, first of all, it's a chemical. I don't like to expose myself to chemicals all the time. White is my preferred method. My second preferred method is the odorless mineral spirits, except a lot of people use them with a brush. I don't like them with a brush at all. When I use a brush and mineral spirits, you can get white lines in it. Some artists will, but to me, it ends up looking like magic marker with streaks. When I dip the tip, I get full control, full saturation. Now, a lot of people, especially artists, are going to say, you can ruin your pencils. I'm going to speak frankly about harder waxes. Prismacolor pencils were meant for blending. This is why I wouldn't dip the tip of my Prismacolors into the mineral spirits. It's not necessary. In the Derwent's, it's not necessary. Uh, the Luminesce, it's not necessary. Those pencils are artist-grade pencils. Let's face it, not everybody can afford artist-grade pencils. You can use a less expensive set, but it doesn't always blend well, even with the white. I wouldn't even think of using this pencil these pencils and expect it to blend out as nice. I have my Holbein white here, which is a great white. I'm still not getting a great result. It's a harder wax pencil. So you need to look to other things. And sometimes when I show you guys just to use the white, I'm doing that on my Prismas, not on other pencils that have harder wax. On harder pencils with other wax, you do need to have to look to other ways of blending. On my less expensive pencils, I'm not as worried about them. They're replaceable, uh, reasonably replaceable. I've never had a problem dipping the tips. Now, would I soak a pencil in it? No, because you can get wood swell. And that's with any wood that sits in water um, or a liquid. What has happened to these pencils after? Absolutely nothing. In fact, once I I soften up the wax at the tip and it, it completely dries out, which it doesn't even get that wet, and I sharpen the tip again, it becomes the hard wax. The mineral spirit does not seep into the pencil all that deep, but it does seep into the pencil enough that it makes it a much richer color. And a lot of people will say, oh, you're supposed to use mineral spirits with a brush. To me, I'm turning it into what looks like a, a magic marker when I do that. I don't like the streaks it gets. I don't like the um, uncontrolled color that it creates. That's why I like pencils. If I wanted that sort of magic marker look, I'd go out and use magic markers. If I wanted it to look like watercolors, I would use watercolors. Even when you use the watercolor pencils, you don't use your watercolor pencils dry. That's why you have watercolor pencils. It gives a different look. On these less expensive pencils, they need a little bit more. So if you're working with a set that isn't Prismacolor and it falls into some of the harder wax pencils that you can get off Amazon very inexpensively and in large numbers with a, a larger variety of color, Give it a little help. Use that mineral spirit on the tip. 
you will not have damage to the pencil. I've I've never showed this to you because I've never used my Sudi styles. Now I want to show this to you because more and more people are coming to me about different pencil sets and what would be comparable. And now that I've turned this into teaching you about pencil blending, this is a way of blending a pencil. Some artists will argue with me. You have to use the brush or you have to use a blender with this. And I will just disagree, smile and say, no, you don't. It's not going to hurt your pencil. I've done it enough times that I could say my pencils do not have any damage. And just like when I used the Prismacolor pencil and I showed you, it's not as breakable as you think it is because of its reputation. These cheaper pencils can be used in a very nice way and in a very well-saturated way. Now, the only thing I could say about using mineral spirits is well-ventilated room. Even the odorless, it does give it give off, I guess, chemicals in the air. I always kind of have my windows open if I'm going to do it, or sometimes I'm coloring outside. In the warm months, I love going down by my pool and sitting on a lounge chair and just coloring. It's very relaxing to me. So if you're going to use lesser expensive pencils, well-ventilated, and you'll see you're going to get a much better result using a little bit of the mineral spirit at the tip. That's my lesson for you today. It's crazy that you can turn a cheap pencil into a nice looking pencil. I will see you guys tomorrow with something even more special. Take care. Bye-bye.